God, it is hot outside. Oh, that, that is... Wow, I don't know what mankind has done to deserve this, but dear God, it is hot. For the record, I didn't wear a white beater in the town. I had a shirt over it. But, honestly, if I go back out, I might just have to go with my tank top. I don't even care. Anyway, this is a small DVD update. Francis extra dough. So I got a couple things. Uh, well, first off, I rented the Tekken movie. It looks like a piece of shit, to be honest, but I played the games as a kid, so of course I'm going to watch it. Uh, first up on things that I bought, I got Identity, Drawing Sack, Ray Liotta, pretty good crime thriller, three bucks, four bucks, sorry. Uh, Sandman, that Voyeur documentary, I mentioned it on my, uh, Cool show on Netflix, Volume 1, I think. Yeah, really cool stuff. Got some interviews with, like, Fred Vogel of the August Underground movies, uh, Bill Z. Bub, and people like that. Really cool documentary. Up next, I got this for $2. That's a basket case. That's for a surprise when I found that. You can get quite a few special features, too. This isn't a bad DVD. Of course, this isn't the original case. It's one of those thick rental cases. Still, that's pretty cool. Up next, this one's a blind buy, and that's a the Chrome movie called The Hall Monitor. I don't know what to expect from it, but it should be fun. Didn't pay too much for it. It's 16 Candles meets Dirty Harry meets Fast Newcomb High. Sounds right up my alley. Next, we have Peter Jackson's Bad Taste. Back in the 90s when Peter Jackson didn't give a damn. Hmm. There's another cute buy. And lastly, Takashi Miike's imprint at the Miike Collection. I'm not a big fan of Masters of Horror. There's a few episodes I like, and this is one of them, but dear god, Billy Drago's acting in this movie is just. Ugh. Man. Anyway, little DVD update for you. I'm going to go hang out naked in a freezer somewhere. Ugh. Bye.